you're back with old Barry again, and um, going to continue on a little bit as I promised uh, I would whenever something reasonable. I'm going to share a really interesting article with you, but um, I really wanted to touch a, a bit more on, um, you know, I think I may even call this viruses, viruses, viruses. Um, you know, years ago I did an article, and, and why I'm bringing it up is uh, one or two people sent it up and said, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting how you pointed that out uh, so many years ago. And it's irrelevant if it's a virus of um, the body, like um, coronavirus, a flu, or it's irrelevant if it's a virus on your laptop or your computer, or if it's a virus of your mind. All viruses are going to share these three attributes. First, they're going to infiltrate. Secondly, they're going to duplicate. Thirdly, obviously, they're going to spread. So what all viruses that, the, that sharing these three attributes, okay, first they have to infiltrate. So, okay, infiltrate, hmm. Okay, they have to penetrate any defense mechanism. So, like, if, if it was, for example, like um, a virus that was pertaining to a computer or a laptop, it would have to get around then the defense mechanism, you would say, it would be a firewall of some sort, some kind of security software. If it was a virus of the body or a flu, like uh, we're experiencing now, then you would say, obviously, it would be the immune system would be the defense mechanism that has to be first infiltrated because all viruses say if it's a virus of the mind how it's infiltrated is through re repetition repetition of a media repetition of how you do something um, if you show someone how to repair the same thing over and over repetition it, it becomes in the mind that's how you infiltrate that's how you infiltrate that type of virus. It becomes a virus depending on what's being infiltrated. Um, I really think, again, you, we live in a country, you got to excuse the roosters, but I, I want to touch a little bit further on this because I promised the, the few that follow us that I would, as bits of information uh, come to me, I would start beginning to release them. Uh, first of all, we're certainly no closer yet on any of those seven different directions we mentioned earlier. But I have come up with some pretty reliable sources that are telling me while the flu might be pretty much done and forgotten about sometime around June and probably won't even hit 100,000 total fatalities uh, versus 7.7 .7 billion people. That's getting kind of rep uh, repetitious too, but uh, the damage that's going to be done uh, is from the mind virus because by allowing all this to happen, uh, because of that virus of the mind, the repetition of medias or repetition of what something is by portraying what it is not over and over again, burns in the mind and it becomes a virus. Well, um, some pretty accurate numbers, guys. Um, we're in, what, the first few days here? What, going to be about the, I think, 6th of April. I don't have uh, the information. Uh, 7th of April, this will be aired. Okay, if I do this, uh, it'll be aired around the 7th of April, approximately. And um, here we are with some reliable sources saying the damage, the economic damage, quite easily to repair quite easily could extend almost to a decade. Right now. Right now. So, you really have to start understanding where we're going with this because we're not, nor did we ever say viruses aren't dangerous. Of course they are. There's a potential damage each type of virus can cost whether it's economic, whether it's humanitarian, whether it's what, you know, I mean, this is all common sense, what I'm saying. All we have ever questioned 
and we're, we, this is all we've ever questioned. Is the response proportionate to the threat? Okay, that is the correct question, and it is the question you should be asking yourselves. Right now, um, like I said, there'll be two days to air, so maybe this might be two days out of date or something, this information, but as of the minute I'm talking to you now, uh, I have a live feed on it. We're sitting here at 68,000 deaths. Uh, and again, uh, that's um, for over a, about a million two hundred and fifty thousand cases around the world to various degrees. We're coming in at a 5.4 fatality rate. Gross. That's not, remember, taking into account the sick, the elderly, the obese pre-existing conditions, okay folks, that's going to drop it substantially, so I honestly don't know how many other ways uh, we can present it to you. I uh, want to close off by kind of playing a little bit, uh, first of all, a big thanks uh, goes out to JB, you know who you are, we're linking, if you only read one article about what's going on right now, one sensible article, so, it's titled, What Sweden Has Done Right on the Coronavirus. And uh, if you remember on the previous video, Sweden is, uh, like I say, one of the, it's a major metropolitan, it's major metropolitan country. I mean, uh, Stockholm is, uh, my God, the, it's, it's got the population of very much a middle-sized state in America, just that city alone. And it's much smaller, so it's a dense population, okay? That even enhances what I'm saying more. It's in, the, in, the, in the cities, it's quite congested. It's not sparse. Anyway, uh, I want, if you, I'm going to link it below, okay? Leanne will, actually. But if you want, um, if there's only one piece of literature you read, I suggest this might be it, okay? It really puts clear fact in, into perspective. From a country that's not under lockdown, that's running the same, and uh, just listen to what the article says about its people and about its economy. But perhaps that's why, uh, you know, their debt to equity is somewhere around a 36% where America's breaching 100 already. Might have something to do with it, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I want to also joke around and uh, I want to thank, first of all, everybody for pitching in these little bits and pieces. As we unfold more information, if I can, I will relay it out that way to y'all who's following and subscribing. But in closing, I want to play uh, uh, and, you know, a, little, a little pun here because I, I do it off, often because uh, I want everybody to really, now you know what it takes, I want everybody to pitch in and make this viral, okay? Send it out viral. You know now how it spreads. So we'll continue on a little bit further, but for now it's old Barry and DR. I hope what I'm saying makes some sort of sense to you because, like I say, I won't talk you out of worrying. That's your choice, but just make sure you're worrying about the right thing. And I'd suggest you might want to pay more attention to the economy, okay? But anyway, till next time. Bye.